you know, I've been online all freaking day, and things just happen behind my back. I come over here, and I see all these crafting tables. What's up guys, it's the Doze, and we are back here on the Dozercraft SMP server, and that's right. I remember hearing about this guy, but it was on a different server, on a different series, on a different YouTube channel, but apparently he's here. And I'm still using Jack's Texture Pack, and the 3D is kind of busting through that item frame there. But there's a iron axe, and it says, The Bandit. And it says, Your crafting tables are no longer safe. Beware, The Bandit. And then this sign says, He's coming for you. So I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. I've heard of the crafting table bandit. He comes and he steals your crafting tables from your houses and then brings them here <laughs> and puts it in front of everybody on display. It was really weird. Like, I didn't... I seriously have gone all day walking around spawn, doing things. I think I even recorded a video and walked through here. So let me know in the last episode if you actually saw this sitting here because I don't know how long this has been here, for real. That's kind of strange. So we, we have to watch out for our crafting tables. Okay, so what are we doing today, guys? What are we doing today? I don't know. Hopefully, I mean, I made that creeper field in the last episode up there. Hopefully, we'll be able to catch some creepers. Let's get out of spawn because the frame leg here is a little intense. And you guys can already see, right? Little intense. Okay, so now, now we're up here. It's a little bit smoother. So I, I have bad frames anyways, normally, but... but uh. They're not too terrible. Only when I go back to spawn, things get really, really bad. All right, so what are we doing today? Um, we're doing some things and doing some stuff, and i got to go clean up my inventory and get ready for all these shenanigans. So uh, welcome to the video, and I'll be right back in just a second. <laughs> so we're here in the end right now, and something very bad happened. <laughs> Whoa! I almost died. Um, so bad news. Bad news, guys. Uh, it's gone. <laughs> the ender crystal is gone. I blew it up on accident. Um, I'm not sure how I did it. Can you blow up in the end if you try to lay in a bed? Because that may have been what happened. Um, I came back here because I wanted to try to break this bedrock again. I wanted to try to do what uh, Tricky was doing a couple episodes ago. And don't ask why I have all these signs, by the way. This is supposed to go to the message board at spawn. I keep forgetting to put it there. But I brought some grass and some dirt. And you're supposed to use a bed and that somehow. And, uh, like, place the bed on the grass. And it's supposed to break the bedrock. But I was doing all that. And I was clearing some area, trying to get things out of the way. And I don't know if I accidentally laid in the bed. Or what the hell happened. I don't know. I really can't. Oh, I have no idea what happened, or how it happened, or anything. But crystal's gone, crystal blew up. And look how much of this freaking endstone it blew up. Endstone is really, really blast uh, resistant. Like, you, you can lay a bunch of TNT. I, I wish I could do it right now, I won't, but I could. If I wanted to, if I really wanted to. Um, even, like, a piece of TNT only blows up, like, a couple blocks. And this destroyed a lot. I'm pretty sure this land came out to, like, here or so. So that was intense. Uh, I had no idea the blast power of end crystals, but that was interesting. Um, but alright, uh, no more ender crystals, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna go old school and not have one at spawn, I guess. That's cool. Alright, back at spawn now. I'm gonna put these freaking signs in here, because I've had these things forever in my inventory, just taking up space. Oh, the frame leg at spawn is real, but we're used to it, right? So I'm kind of bummed we can't use this thing up here. I actually finished this, by the way. Freaking bench, benches everywhere. Um, that was going to be for the crystal. We made that a few episodes ago. Um, I don't remember what it, it might have been the dragon kill episode. I'm not t totally sure. Oh, no, it, it was the episode with Tricky when I actually started to move the crystal. Um... Oh, that didn't make it. God, this building's so freaking tall. Eh. Is my armor almost broken? Because I was taking a lot of damage from that fire when I cut on fire. Uh, but yeah, we started to build this thing. And it was kind of... It was right on the edge here. So I brought it back and I centered it. And put it there. It looks a lot better. There's actually plenty 
of space to fit it perfectly. Two blocks on this side, two blocks on, two blocks on this side. And, uh, yeah, well, we can't use it for the end crystal, at least. But we might be able to find some use for it. It's pretty cool looking in there. You see that? See the design I got going on? Nice and tall. No no roof on it yet, but that's okay. Um, whatever. That's fine. I'm, I'm, go I'm not going to tear this down. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about, well, we don't need this anymore. I could probably tear it down now, but I'm not going to. Oh, God. I think I'm going to wait. Because you never know. We might get something we might want to put up there. Like a charge creeper, perhaps. We could put a charge creeper up there. I don't know. We got one. We got a creeper in here. Hey, creeper. Hello. Just one lonely creeper. And that's fine. That's all. It's, it's it's perfectly perfectly fine. Yeah, there you go. Subject one is officially named. Now we gotta wait for three more to spawn inside here. It's nighttime once again here on Dozacraft, and it appears there's a couple more creepers in here. Well, there were a couple. Yeah, there are a couple. Hello, sir. Can you please die? I'm really glad I put these. Oh man. Okay. Now I'm gonna hit you, and the rest of your friends are gonna come. I'm glad I put this over by this cage, because if I would run back to uh, to my house right now, these guys would all despawn, I guarantee it. Oh man, okay, die. God, I love how this armor looks in Jack's new texture pack. I really think I'm going to start using this permanently now, and I actually have another request that I'm giving him. Okay, you're subject one. I have another request I'm giving him for the texture pack, and I probably shouldn't mention it because... I don't want to really pressure him into doing it. It's just kind of a silly thing I thought about. Um, just retexturing something existing in Minecraft that I don't use all the time, but I think would be kind of fun and quirky if I did use it. Okay, subject two, you are named. And I think you, sir, are subject three, right? No, you're subject one. I hear a baby zombie. And subject three. Okay, we got three now. And you, you should be inside the cage, guy, because I would love to be able to name you. All these other ones I have to kill because... Dang it, we need to get 10,000 creepers killed. But it's doing pretty good. Um, I did calculations, yeah, I think it was the last episode, and I it came out that I need to kill about 15 creepers every single real-life day for one year to reach our goal of 10,000 creepers. And I thought 15 creepers a day would be kind of hard, but really it's not. I mean, I could easily kill 30 creepers a day. A real, a real day in Minecraft, or a real life day playing Minecraft. I could easily kill 30 or more a night because, I mean, they spawn all the time out here. Um, a lot of spawn is lit up, and out here is one of those areas that aren't ever really lit up. So most of the mobs on the server spawn out here unless people are away from spawn taking up the mob cap. So that's kind of cool. Okay, okay, everybody get away from me. Made a little distance now between myself and that, this cage over here. Let's see if any more creepers spawned in there. We have one more name tag, and then we'll have all four. We won't have to worry about these guys too much. Uh, then hopefully, um, in the next thunder and lightning storm, we can come over here and uh, kind of hang out. And hopefully we'll get, we'll get a charged creeper. I really want to get one. There's only three creepers in here right now. Um, but yeah, just checking in, uh, just messing around the house a little bit and noticed a few more creepers in here, so I thought I would hit record and and name these guys. Uh, this is going a lot smoother than I thought it would, really. I thought it'd be kind of harder to trap creepers, but but that's the trick. A lot of people want to, like, oh, there's a creeper up there, we, sh we should go up there and name it, and then we should trap it somewhere. No. The, the trick is to make a creeper field... And then wait for them to spawn inside the creeper field. See, just on camera right now, I've killed more than 15 creepers, I'm pretty sure. Look at all those guys over there. There's there's another, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's another six more. Necro says the blacksmith is cool. Thank you, Necro. I'm actually online with Numster and Necro. Looks like Numster died a second time. Um, yeah, okay, I'm just checking in. There's a fourth. There's a fourth in here. I just stopped recording and I came back and there's a fourth in here. Oh, God, there's so many creepers out here. We're, we're going to get 10,000 this video. <laughs> I thought about doing that, actually. Well, not in one video, but I thought about doing a video where I did nothing but kill creepers all night. Like, you know, for the whole video, just wait till nighttime, hit record, and start killing creepers. I think we'd gain a lot of headway if we did that. Who are you? Subject 1? Uh, don't, don't do it, guy. Okay, you're Subject 3. Okay, we have our Subject 4 name tag on, on deck. Alright, is that you? Yep, that's you. Okay, subject four, 
Cool. Subject 2, 3, and 4. This is all the subjects we have. Amazing. Now, all we need is a thunderstorm. Die. 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 Sun's coming up. Not many left to kill. I think these bushes are new here. <laughs> As I walk on the wrong side. These bushes right here, I think these are new. Kapenga may have hopped online between... Between last time I was online and now. I don't know. Seems like that's a new thing. Killing all these creepers. Oh man, we've killed we've killed a ton of creepers this episode. Fifteen a day, no problem. We'll, we'll, we'll do this in six months <laughs> at the rate I'm going now. We are all over the place today. Um, I am now out at uh, McLovin's place. I went down McLovin's tunnel. Uh, he hasn't been around for a while, and McLovin does not record YouTube videos. But I've known him for a long, long time. He's one of the longest lasting members. Uh, before D Dozacraft SMP, I actually played on a server that he ran. And, uh, really cool dude. Uh, he builds amazing things. There's two people. Okay, so of course we know about Necro, right? Necro Fetish, or it's Necro J now. He changed his name with the new Minecraft feature that you're able to do such things as changing your name. Uh, but there's also Vonnie and McLovin, both of which have been around for a long time. Uh, Vonnie I met back in the day um, on some other old server. Uh, the guy who actually used to run Dozacraft, uh, this guy named GP, um, I met Vonnie on that server, and then he, he came with me over here once we got the Dozacraft SMP server going. Anyways, uh, McLovin and him both do amazing things, but they do not record. And they rarely tell people what they're doing. Um, and, they, and you know, you'll just run into it one day and you'll find these epic builds. I, I should go around and show some of Vani's stuff too. Uh, but I, I'm out at McLovin's right now. There's not much to see where I'm at. It's kind of, uh, kind of a little ways away from his base. He has this spot out here. Uh, <laughs> saw this beacon from a ways away and I was thinking, I bet that's a place where we can dig some stained clay out. So here we are digging stained clay. I need a bunch more of this for the hotel because as I mentioned we decided on cyan uh, stained clay for the walls of the apartments themselves. I say apartments and then I call the place a hotel. It, it's really more of an apartment building <laughs> but we already have the hotel sign on it so we're just going to keep calling it a hotel. Anyways the walls of the rooms in there are going to be cyan clay and I used all of the stuff that I that I had. Uh, I do have a mesa biome out by my new base, but my new base is like, what is it, like 4,000 blocks out and my tunnel is long as hell and didn't really want to feel like traveling that far, but I knew McLovin was right next to a mesa biome, so here's where I am. Um, he has a beacon, but it's only haste 1, and I also only have efficiency 4 on my pickaxe. I don't have efficiency 5, and the beacon is not haste 2. Uh, it's a little slow, um, kind of redundant really, having this beacon out here right now, because I'm breaking these just as fast as I would normally, I'm pretty sure. But uh, I'm just going to sit here and collect some of this, get a full inventory, and, uh, and, then, and then we'll look at a couple things that McLovin has to see out here, and then we're going to head back to spawn, and pro maybe work on the uh, the hotel a little bit today. I'm not really sure. We're kind of all over the place today, aren't we? All right, I know I don't have nearly enough of uh, what I need to complete these rooms, but uh, how much do we got? Almost a full inventory. We've still got a, f a couple spaces left. That's fine. Uh, I'll probably be back here. It was, this was kind of a guess. I thought that McLovin may have had a base out by Mesa, but I wasn't 100% sure. But now I know for sure. Uh, I know Vonnie also built in a mesa, so that was going to be my next thing. I was going to try to find uh, Vonnie's base, which is a little bit harder because he doesn't have a nether tunnel in our nether hub here. Am I going the right direction? Yes, I am. All right, so now we're coming up. I, I agreed to show you guys some of the things McLovin has done around here. And this is just this is just scenery stuff right here. He's he, He's done a little bit of building in the overworld. Just so things look good. Looks like he has some kind of uh, little bunny. Looks like he has some kind of zombie trap here. You can see actually working. So that's cool. Is this collecting anything or are they just killing him? Hello, creeper. You want to wanna up the numbers of my, my creeper kills? That's cool. Thank you very much for that. What is that? Hold up. 
This is Jack's texture pack. This is, yeah, a sandstone. That looks looks a lot different in, in this texture pack. I'm getting used to it, though. I actually, actually quite like this texture pack. All right, so this is what we what McLovin has going on here. These trees, I don't know if these are for to cut down or not, but look at this. He's got some nice, like, floral uh, roughage. <laughs> What's it called when you, when you put flowers and stuff? Roughage? Is that what it's called? I don't know. He's got that. He's got some farms going on. He's got this cool bridge. Got some horses here. I might have to come here and try to breed some of these up. He's got some kind of little building over there as well. Uh, cave lit up over there. Um, I actually haven't looked in any of these buildings. That's obviously a barn right there. Got a bunch of rabbits. That's his personal house, which is a really nice house. I had to fix that one time because the creeper blew up. Uh, it's got... It's got these farms going on. Look how cool these look. Just the pumpkins with the item frames on it so you can see what it is. Got carrots here. Um, some wheat up there. Looks like I think that's a pumpkin farm up there. There's some kind of greenhouse. I mean, he's got all kinds of stuff going on. I'm curious what this building is. I actually have not been in here. I'm guessing this is some kind of library because there are books here. Are they named? I don't think they are. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. It's got a little library going on here. There's a downstairs. Efficiency. Cool. Feather falling. Sharpness. So these are all like extra storage. But what's up here? I really like how he did these bookshelves. Uh, made it so you can actually access them. I'm guessing these are like uh, some, some, some stairs. Fire protection. Projectile protection. Blast protection. All projectile protection four up here, so I guess the downstairs one are probably lower, uh, lower ones. Got some silk touch, f some fortune. These all fortune three. Oh, there's some fortune ones, fortune twos. Wow, look at that book. This is like the power three, feather falling four, fortune two. So cool. He's got some books going on here. McLovin, man, if you're out there listening, hop online, because you got some things going on here. I might come here and want to spend some diamonds and buy some things. Sounds like. Villagers may be occupying this house now. I think that's a new thing. Uh, Numster says, I love the block sorting system so much. Yes, I do too, Nums. Freaking Neko did an amazing job at that. It's really useful. Oh, looks like he's got something going on back here too. Is this some kind of... Oh, this is probably an iron golem farm, right? I don't think there's enough time on this video. Or I don't think I have enough patience either to be able to try and find all of the things McLovin has done on this map. He's done a lot of stuff. Yeah, this looks like an iron golem farm. I got everything chasing me. Is this another iron golem farm? What's this? This may just be a villager breeder. Appears to be. Um, and this is just the overworld. Let, let's go to the nether. I want to show you... I've showed it before. It's been a while. But I want to show you what he's got going on inside the nether. Oh, I didn't even see these. Hello! K get off me, you jerk. Okay, no creepers. No creepers. I blew this place up once before. Didn't even notice these. Check out these cool little trees. <laughs> it's with some fences and leaves. That's pretty cool. Alright, this is the portal I just came out of. And I mentioned a while ago that there is a helmet I took from McLovin. And it was from up here. As you can see, I left a thing that says, I owe you protection for unbreaking four. <laughs> breaking four. Yeah, right. Protection four unbreaking three helmets. Sorry, I really needed it. May 6th, 2015. Uh, this is his main storage, I believe. And all his stuff is here. I'm guessing his diamonds are probably in his ender chest. But I mean, look at that. Look at that collection of ender pearls. This is before we killed the dragon. We only just recently killed the dragon. A uh, ton of gold. Look at that. Like, three and a half stacks of gold blocks. Bunch of ore. I mean, this guy's set up. He did work. He put in just as much work as anybody. Uh, probably more work than a lot of people, really. So he's got some crazy stuff going on. This is all the storage. Uh, this is just... This is just for looks. He's he's even got stuff. Look at those chainmail. Oh, should come here and steal that. Just kidding. Uh, but this is his nether hub. We're in the nether right now. There's a big room here. He's got th this staircase goes down to the 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 strong not the stronghold the nether fortress that I was at. I don't know last video whatever it was. Got a few skulls. Almost died. It was good fun. Oh, I think it was the the piston moving episode. Uh, he's got a portal over here. This goes to a zombie grinder. That one over there, I think, goes to the mine or something. Uh, he's got a skeleton grinder one somewhere around here. I mean, this is all in the nether. This is basically his very own nether hub. It's four big rooms. And I don't know if you noticed over here. They're all designed with different colored blocks. In here, this is where he keeps all his villagers at. These are really good villagers, too. I went through these a while ago. And those are villagers I would like to use. 
And then on this side, he has this tunnel, which is very incredibly designed. And I actually took this horse to ride down here. And I was going to cut, but I guess we don't have to because we have this horse. But check out this tunnel. It's pretty freaking sweet. This goes all the way back to the, the nether hub. And it's not that far. I mean, it's it's a little bit far. It's, it's, a, it's, you know, it's a nether tunnel. It takes a little while to go here, but boom. We are here. Let's put this horse back inside here. Can it jump over that? It sure can. All right, we're good. Okay, we're back at spawn now, and I got all the things I need. But I just want to check in really quick. We're, we're going to end this video here. We're getting towards the end. I just want to update a little bit of what I've done with the hotel. And I don't think I've addressed this yet. I don't know. I know I took a thumbnail of this for the blacksmith video. But in the blacksmith video itself, it didn't actually look like this. It was all cobblestone. Um, but I came through and I put some spruce in some spots. A lot of it's still cobblestone because I want it to be like that. Because it's my building and I do what I want. Um, now that I'm looking at it right here, that would look good with a log across it. So I may do that. But I did put some spruce wood in. Uh, the entrance is still the same. I did put some cobble walls in as well. Added a little bit more depth to it. So I put cobble walls here, here, uh, in that center little spot in there. And I also put them right here going up these sides. Uh, but I put spruce on this wall and spruce around these furnaces. So it looks good from the outside. And then on this side, I kind of did a half and half kind of thing, which I don't typically do. But it looks, it, it doesn't look bad, you know. So I got cobblestone here, uh, kind of to the level of the door. And then I got some spruce wood on top. Uh, kept this wall cobblestone. Made this wall here all spruce, which is still a big blank spot, but... Um, I don't know, I'm still trying to think of something to put there, and we kept this wall cobblestone here as well. So this place looks amazing, uh, and I also finished the path, so we have a little pathway going here, and I extended this pathway out here, which goes out towards Will's place, and uh, Will finished digging his uh, trail here. His, his pathways look a little bit different than mine, but it kind of looks good fading off into it like that. And uh, there's still going to be a lot more buildings to be added out here. I don't want to spoil too much, but uh, go watch go watch Num's stream. He's building his he's building his RV here. I don't want to spoil that too much, but looks like he's moving in an RV in town. A little that, that's his spawn house. I told him the initiation for uh, to join Dozacraft is you have to build a spawn house before leaving out into the world. To, uh, to start your own adventures. Okay, let's see what I've done with this place before we end the video. How much... Ooh, we got 50 cactus in here. Wonderful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Got plenty of... Uh, plenty of dyes to be cooked up, which is a great thing. It's a very good thing. Can we just put this dye in here for now? Yeah, let's just do that for now. I just want to show you what I got done up here. Um, so we have this carpet on the bottom floor, right? This is the carpet design we went with. Well, I decided to implement it also up here. Um, this took all of the cyan clay I had, uh, just to do this level, and then I remember I made like two and a half more stacks, and I started working on this, this, uh, the second floor, and it only got me this far, I only got one more apartment done, so it, it takes quite a bit of this stuff, like this might finish this one floor, and then we still have like, what, three or, f three or four more floors to go still, uh, but I just want to show you what I've done, uh, put all the cyan in, I need to put some more chandeliers around here, but also continue the carpet. I put the carpets up here, and I think it looks really good. It's the same carpet design. We got the, is it just gray? I think it's just normal gray. Yeah, the gray carpet outlining it. Got a little bit of space in between the doors, mainly because you can't open the door if the carpet's there. I don't think. No, you can't even place the carpet down there. Um, and it has like this kind of weird illusion that that this is almost a shadow of the blue window, you know what I mean? Like if you look at it, if you look at it like that, it, it just matches with the window really good. This is such a good spot, and it really comes together once you start putting detail into it. Um, maybe also put some plants here and stuff like that. Uh, I discussed maybe putting some kind of pictures on these big blank sides of the walls. There's still a lot of doors i got to put in here. Still a lot of work that needs to be done, but I don't think I mentioned either. I did put all of the slab floors in. I went ahead... And I, and I finished it. So we got all the slab floors in. That is done. Now we're just working on rooms. And also Jack mentioned he wants first claim of the suites. And I think it was this floor he's talking about. And I think he wants to claim it because it's this floor and I think the first floor 
are the only ones that have a full bay window like this. So it's a really good lookout out at spawn. It's too bad. It's too bad we can't get that ender crystal up there. That kind of bums me out. We'll put something up there though. Um, I think this is the floor Jack was talking about. He wants he wants to uh, he wants to be on. There is one more floor here, um, and then there's like this floor, which is not exactly a floor because it's got some different windows. We'll put something up here. This may be like a club or like a dance room or something. I don't I don't, I don't really know. Okay, let's fall and not die. Perfect. We are good. All right. Well, I came back to my basement because there's one thing we need to do. One other thing we need to do before we end this video. And uh, that is give Nums this hat. It's the newcomer hat. We did this in season two, and I totally forgot about it. But uh, it's a tradition we're going to bring back. So for all newcomers, they have to wear this lime green leather newcomer hat, and they have to wear it until it breaks. That, that, that's, the, that's the idea anyways. But if I suggest anything, I would say wear it until it's like one durability, and then save it and put in an item frame, because I think that'd be really cool. Why do I hear so many zombies down here? What the? Why are there so many Thurgoods down here? I'm getting trolled. There used to be... Wow, you guys look really, really strange with those pumpkins on your heads with the 3D. You could see their green faces inside. I'm getting trolled now. Somebody has come in here and given me more zombies and naming them Thurgood and giving them swords. Because now I don't even know who the real Thurgood is. Um, let me just point out. Uh, so we, we know about... <laughs> we know about the crafting table bandit. Looks like he stole one of my crafting tables here. And is there... We ha I think we had one in here. No, that one's still there. And uh, all of them are still in my basement. So either the... Either the crafting table bandit didn't see this one and doesn't know about the basement. Or... Or he's slacking. If you're going to be a crafting table bandit, man, you better get all, <laughs> all of the crafting tables on the server. Alright, let's go find Numster. Give him his newcomer helmet and then we can, uh, then we can end this video. Oh man, I love new buildings. I love coming to spawn and seeing this building here. I'm really happy with it. Uh, it wasn't planned out at all, like I mentioned. All right, here's the RV, looking really good. Wow, look at the, look at this ingenuity. This this is Icelandic genius right here. He's got some item frames with some gold in it, and he has signs on top of it, and he's got some crazy words. Icelandic Viking. That's a word he was trying to teach us. I have no idea how to say it. I Jaff Jaladjukul. Yeah. I said it right, totally right. Where are you at, newcomer? I see you over there. All right, let's give him this helmet. Let's see. Newcomer, newcomer. Here's your hat. Here's your hat, newcomer. Wear it. Wear it with pride. Yes. Zero player kills. Oh, you look so good. You look amazing. <laughs> oh, Numster, dude, he, he's a cool mofo. I'm glad we have him on the server. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like on it. It was kind of crazy. We're kind of all over the place, um, but that's okay. Oh, I see him back there. He's, he's got nothing but the newcomer hat on. He's looking good. Looking good over there, Numster. Uh, but yeah, leave a comment below if you guys uh, want to leave a comment below. I never know what to say. We, I need to have like a question of the day or something. If you're still here, leave Numster the Viking, M-U-Z-T-E-R, the Viking in the comments below, uh, and 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 that way I'll know that he made it here. Slash kill, he says. Oh, get out of here! You like that hat? It looks good on you, Numster. Come on now. Uh, but yeah, uh, God, I have so many notes of things we need to do for videos, and all I keep doing is making videos of me talking and doing dumb stuff. Uh, I have a lot planned for for big things we need to build and things we need to do. Uh, God, so many videos. The month of May. Month of May, we got we got a cool thing going on. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Love, peace, and chicken grease.